but let's let's go to the purpose of doing all of this. McKeel, you were quoted as saying in that article that the purpose of the company is to save driving and car culture. What did you mean by that? Well, thanks. It's um, you know it's really been a multi-year process to develop that purpose for our business, and in no small way, it's this combination of the fact that. We're really passionate about driving and, and cars and, and, the, and the benefit that car culture in its most positive ways brings to the world. And um, yet there is this other narrative that's starting to happen in the media and, and you know it very well and your audience knows it very well that somehow cars aren't interesting anymore, they're going away, younger people aren't, aren't, don't have the same level of passion the previous generations. And in fact, I have, I've had people just say, it's all going away, forget about it, it's all gone. And in 2017, I actually had this CEO of a big automotive technology company tell me he was going to put me out of business because everything I thought I knew about the car world was going away. Sorry. He looked me in the eye and said, you'd find something else to do. And we, I was upset by it because I like to think that I'm pretty quick on my feet and I kind of have a pithy response for things, but I was just flat on my feet. I was dumbfounded. And we spent a lot of time thinking about it. And we said, we know something about the car world that these, all these technologists and all these people predicting this doom of the automotive world uh, that they don't know. And this passion for cars has nothing to do with a passion for sitting in a four hour commute every day. Our love of driving is not about a long commute or traffic jams. This is about the pleasure of driving. It's about the, value, the other values that cars have, the, the signaling effect that they bring into our lives, the, the experiential aspects, whether you're into competition or just driving or showing or um, touring around, and, and even the, the legacy aspects, which are, in our mind, the most, most the, kind of the highest value that a car brings, which is up generations and down generations, this idea of passing on memory and skills and, and, and just great shared experiences. So I knew something that this guy didn't know and the car world doesn't talk about very much. And we made, decided to make our purpose that driving does need to be safe. Commuting, let's, let's let the technologists solve for commuting, but we wanna save driving and we wanna save car culture. And car culture is that piece of when we get together and it's when we get together to enjoy looking at a few cool cars uh, in, at the New York Stock Exchange or whether it's reading a great uh, magazine, car magazine, or listening to a wonderful podcast or, or show like this, that's part of car, car culture. And we want to see it go on to the next generations. 